everybody. My name is Lydia Tropiano. I'm a program coordinator with Solano Resource Conservation District, and I'm in my backyard. And today we are going to talk about phenology. What is phenology? It is the study of seasonal changes in plants and animals. So if we were um, to think about springtime, how would we know that it's spring? What are some ways that nature is telling us that it's spring? I know because the grass is green, flowers are blooming, birds are chirping, and it's a lot warmer outside. We can study phenology today by tracking the changes in this, of this tree in my backyard. And we're gonna do that by using the method of scientific sketch. Now a scientific sketch is really important way to record our observations. What is an observation? You make an observation with your sense of sight. You can also describe what you see and notice through touch and a sense of smell. So we're gonna use our senses today to describe our observations in our scientific sketch. We are going to write the date. Really important for us when we're tracking these changes that we can look at the date, know exactly when we made these observations. And the location, I'm in my backyard. As citizen scientists, we're taking down our observations, we're collecting data, and then we can share that information. So as I am starting my scientific sketch, I'm gonna first look at the leaf, pay attention to the shape, and one thing that I notice right away, aside from the shape that I'm drawing, is the color. I am using a purple marker, but my leaf is green. So it's so important for me to label green leaf. You can also use colored pencils, but if you don't have colored pencils, go ahead and write your observations that you notice the color green. I also um, notice some different veins on my leaf that I can draw. And if I'm going to use my finger to measure my leaf, I notice that the tip of my pointer finger to my knuckle is about how long my leaf is. So you can also bring in measurements. That's about three inches for me. I measured it ahead of time. You could bring out your own ruler if you have that in your toolkit. And I'm gonna just start to draw this flower as well, paying attention to shapes that I notice, so circle and lines, and I can count the petals that I see. One, two, three, four. So bringing in the number of petals that I'm drawing, just doing your best, and always bringing in descriptions to help you. White petals. Don't forget your arrow to help. So I use my sense of smell mm, to describe an observation that it smells really strong. And I notice there are a lot of bees buzzing around me. So I can also write that observation in my scientific sketch. This is from today. I wanna to show you a drawing that I made of this same tree a month ago. So if you can look closely and see March 12th, what I noticed in my backyard of my tree, there are just green leaves. I described how I noticed that they were smooth and soft. And then today with you all, I also made some observations about the flowers. So a month later, April 12th is when I first started seeing these flowers, flower buds, flower blossoms. And I also noticed something else, a flower that has no more petals. It really makes me wonder, well, what kind of tree is this? Do you recognize this tree? It's an orange tree. As a citizen scientist, I can track the changes of my orange tree and notice what is happening first. The new growth of leaves, the budding flowers. And then eventually, I wonder when I will start to see the forming of the fruit and the ripe fruit that I can eat. All right, I'm excited to see your sketches. Go in your backyard, pick your favorite plant, and start to study by making a scientific sketch. It can be drawings, words, numbers. Make sure you write the date. 
and then go back a week later, a month later, three months later, and see how it changes. I wanna see those scientific sketches, so please share them with us. I'm Lydia Tropiano with the Solano RCD, and I'm really excited to see your sketches, so please share them with us.